Hello everyone, welcome to Rosebank Farm. I am so excited today. I'm gonna to be starting a brand new project. I want to put in a path around my catalfa tree and pine tree. The area is getting too narrow to use my riding lawnmower. And I think it would be really pretty to have a path around it and to line it with boxwood. So the edge um, going down to the road is, is bordered in. So it's not as, you know, kind of scary to walk through. But let's take a look at the area I'm going to be working on today. This is the area um, that I want to put a path in. That is a very steep bank down to the road. And let me step back a little bit. There's my tools. Um, there's this um, cedar, I think it is, to the right that the deer have eaten up and given it a shape. And then we have uh, the pine tree. And then in the background there is the big catalpha. But this little narrow opening, it's um, getting too small. The pine tree's growing out. So I'm afraid to ride my riding lawnmower around here. That yucca plant is right on the edge. And as I come around here, see this opening is too narrow now for the riding lawnmower. It's even gonna be narrow for the path. Um, the other issue was um, in this depression right here, um, there's a hole right here where a maple tree used to be. And so sometimes I was coming around here with a riding mower, I would get stuck in that hole and just not be able to move. And so the path would come on around here and this would be the exit. I plan on removing the yucca plant and then planting uh, boxwoods along the edge of the bank. So, so excited to get this project started. And the tools I'm going to be using right now is I have, uh, there's my edger shovel to the right, my shovel in the middle, and the old rake. And guys, I have gone through so many shovels. I think I paid like... $40 for this shovel because the the cheaper ones that are around $19, $20. I keep breaking shovels. So this is my good shovel and hopefully it'll last. So for this first part of the project, I'm going to be doing a lot of excavating and edging and getting the lines to my path put in. So what I think I'll do is just take pictures um, every so often of the progress that I'm making on the excavation. Um, I imagine this project will probably take me it, probably two days. The majority of it being the excavating of it and um, smoothing out and leveling of the path. So I think for now I'm just going to get busy and I will just um, take pictures and show you the progress. Wanted to give you a little progress update. I've made it to the yucca plant, but I'm not liking the lines of the flower bed, particularly right here where it's going really deep. Um, I don't want the path to be that wide. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to redefine the edges of this round bed. Um, I'll plant pan over so I don't get you sick, but over here I have a pile of rock and I can use that rock to redefine the edges of this flower bed and maybe bump this side out a little bit and round it so that the path doesn't have this awkward shape right there at the beginning. I'm not sure I like those lines. So that's what I'm gonna do right now is redefine the flower bed and take out the yucca. I think it's getting too dark to get um, much more of my progress on video, so I'm going to take a quick update right now at how far I was able to get. I extended the flower bed edge, um, got the yucca out, and I set up a couple boxwoods, and um, those are going to be the stepping stones for the path. Hopefully this is a good shot in this twilight right now. But I, I'm about halfway around and I have a couple of boxwood pa placed on the edge of the bank before it starts to really go steeply down the hill. So you would come around and come around here. So I'm so excited for this project to come together. Um, I think I'm going to stop filming for now and pick up tomorrow 
um, in the sunlight, but I'm still going to keep working so hopefully I can get most of this excavated and be ready to plant tomorrow. So thanks for watching this much and we will pick up tomorrow and finish this project. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rake the area, try to level out any high spots, fill in the low spots. So I'm just going to use my old garden rake and just rake like this. Okay, the next thing I did was space out my boxwoods about every three feet. I did not measure, I just eyeballed it, but I have them along the edge of the path. And I think this looks pretty good and this is where I'm gonna plant them. I'm so excited for this part of the project. I'm gonna plant the boxwoods. So I'm gonna dig a hole right where I have them spaced. Um, I'm gonna dig the hole about one and a half times as wide and um, just as deep and I'm going to use some biotone starter fertilizer. I'm gonna water them in when we're done, but we're expecting rain for the next two days, so I'll let Mother Nature take care of that tomorrow. All right, so let's get started with digging um, for our boxwoods. So I'm going to add some biotin fertilizer into the hole and I did run into some roots but it'll be okay and then we'll get the first one planted. So now I'm going to plant the rest of the boxwoods just like I did this first one. Just dig the hole, add some biotone, and fill it back in. I'm ready to give you a tour of the finished path. It took several days and um, that was because of the weather. We had some rain and then our schedule, but it's finally finished and I really love the way it turned out. And I also have some ideas for next year that I will share with you. So I'm gonna turn the camera around. It starts at the pine tree behind me and let's take a tour of my new garden path. Well, here it is. I got really excited and I kind of went to town working on a new line for under the pine tree. Ran out of mulch, but I, I think that's going to look really pretty next year with fresh mulch under there. All nice. So I'm standing in my front yard across from my front door. And um, as I mentioned before, the whole reason why I wanted to put this path in is because our riding mower simply could not fit between the pine tree and the edge of the bank that goes steeply down to the road. So I think this just makes just a really pretty spot for a pathway. So I have boxwood um, lining the edge. I call it my guardrail. And it was my husband's idea to line it with rock. He um, thought that would help prevent erosion and I agreed. So we placed a row of rock outside the boxwood. And so then the path just goes right around this way, goes around the tree. And I love how it disappears and you can't see where it ends. You just wanna keep going. Now there is a slight upward slope starting about right where I am. And we go on around and out this side. This is the view of the exit of the path or from the other side. Um, this is my big giant catalfa tree and I have a lot of tulips planted in that spot right there at the base of the catalfa. So that'll be really pretty in the spring. But 
I just, I love it. It turned out so nice. And I can't wait to see my grandkids when they walk on it for the first time. I'm standing down on the road. And so this is the view as cars drive past. This is what they get to see. Something for next year is to continue the flower bed around the bottom of this cedar um, and just ring it. Um, eventually, I would like to go all the way across the top of the bank um, over to our driveway. Um, but for right now, we'll just keep mowing that. But I think I really would um, like to extend the flower bed around the cedar in the spring. I think that would be really nice as you walk up to the path to see, uh, you know, beautiful flowers planted around there, just inviting you in to go around and see what's on the other side. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it inspired you to try something new with your space, to look at it with new eyes. And if it's not um, functioning the way you'd like it, make changes. I am so happy with this. It's so fun. We'll see you in the next video. Please subscribe to Rosebank Farm and like this video. I appreciate all your support. Thanks.